What up, peeps? Strawberry coffee coming to you from Clovis, California. All right, so people ask me questions all the time about coffee. Like, why strawberry coffee? Or do you actually make strawberry coffee? Or how do you get your hair to smell like strawberries? It's actually this stuff right here. It smells so good. Mmm, take a whiff. People ask, how'd you get into specialty coffee? Or when are you gonna open up a shop? Or when are you gonna start roasting? Or why are you so attractive? Or have you ever tried that coffee that comes out of those animals' butts? Or what kind of pods do you recommend for my Keurig? Seriously, just, just Google how dirty is my Keurig. And then the big one. I want to get into specialty coffee, but I don't want to spend $200 and I don't want to become a barista, but I want to make good coffee at home. Please help me, how do I do that? Enter the Clever Dripper. All right, so some people prefer immersion brewing. Think French press, you know, you got coffee grounds sitting in the water for a long period of time. And then some people prefer pour overs, grounds sitting inside a brewer and you're pouring water through, it's processing through it the entire brew. I like immersion brewers. Pour overs are so much better. Immersion, pour over. All right, so here's what we're working with. Coaster, brewer, lid. It's that simple. But here's what's so ingenious about this device. The bottom, when you, when you set it on top of a cup, it releases the liquid up here to come down here. So you have this immersion happening with a filter, and you set it on the cup, and it processes almost like a pour over. Clever girl. All right, so we got the clever dripper. Then we need the beans. The beans, I left them downstairs. Hold on a second. <laughs> Good boy, Bob Coffee. Water at 210 Fahrenheit. 25 grams coffee beans. Baratza Vario 5A setting. It's kind of a medium coarse ground. Now, a lot of people do use the Clever Dripper. The thing that's unique about the way I approach it, Chemex filter. Chemex filters are some of my favorite because they're some of the most dense filters out there. So with the Chemex filter, you get some of the most clean coffee you can get. So mixture between these two, infusion with a Chemex filter, you get this heavier bodied, but really clean cup of coffee at the same time. So good. I do just a small fold in the bottom corner like this. And you set it in just like this. Don't forget to rinse the paper. Also, you know what's so cool about this? Looks like a little Pope hat. Grounds in. All right, then the first pour is to 150 grams of water. Pour it in, give it a good stir. You want it all immersed, all saturated, really good. At 35 seconds, you pour to the final weight of 350 grams of water. Then give it one more stir. Then the lid goes on. All right, I'm gonna let this sit until two minutes. You see how it's all sitting in here? Immersing, heavier body, get a lot of the flavor, saturating it all up. Really good. Then at two minutes, then set it on the beaker. It's gonna to start to process through the filter. All right, so one of the reasons I recommend this brewer to a lot of people when they're just wanting to jump into specialty coffee is because it's so simple. You just put the grounds in, a little water in, give it a little stir, you set it, and then you let the thing go. It just does it all by itself. All you need for this, the Clever Dripper, Chemex filters, and you don't even need a gooseneck kettle. You can just throw water in. And if you were wondering, this is what it looks like from the top side down. Drawing down there. And then the finish time for me on this tends to be from 4.15 to 5.15, depending on the beans and how long ago they were roasted. And then like I always say, drink it in a cool glass. If you're interested in any of this gear that I used in this video, check out in the description below. I got links for you to check them out. All right, that's what I got for you today. If you enjoyed this, check out my other videos, share it with a friend, and don't forget to subscribe. Grace and peace, friends.